everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I sweat and I detox and I meditate and I talk about topics that are really important to me for my being positive and being able to manifest. And I use the information that I record here to reiterate what I need to hear to keep all of that in the forefront, forefront of my brain and hopefully I help others along the way. Now, I started a, a vlog, a series of vlogs in here called uh, about the 12 spiritual or energetic or universal laws. Basically, those are rules to live by energetically because that's how the energy works, right? And if you know these things, then you can really manifest and really keep your life on track in a way that you want, you know, as opposed to being bowled over by all sorts of negativity and crap because there's a lot of it. But, and we're on, I think today would have been number 11. So the last two are coming up, but I, I wanted to take a break today and talk about something that's recently become very important in my life and something that I never, ever thought I would have to deal with, but have been dealing with. And it, it's really hard to even talk about because I'm such a strong minded person and strong willed person that I can never imagine being victim to something like this. But I talked previously about demons and when I use that word I'm using it it can be used uh, metaphorically like dark energy or pain and trauma from past you know childhood or past life um, traumatic events that cause a person to act in a way that is abusive or it can even mean in my mind a dark entity that attaches itself to the human energy field and literally s causes them to do uh, malevolent acts, right, of abuse and um, basically what I, I feel is that they, they, they do that type of thing to other people almost like vampires feed on their prey. They suck the life force out of, the, out of their victims and they generally are attracted to people that are very forgiving and open-hearted and empathic, right? Because empathic people have a lot of heart chakra energy, which is the highest, you know, unconditional love sort of energy that you can embody in a human. And I feel like that's what the darkness feeds on and also wants to crush that because that's the only thing that's going to get us out of this mess that we're in, in this third dimension, right? <sighs> Whew, heavy stuff, dude. So people with this dark energy, these demons use tactics to control their victims and they're very pronounced and, um, and discussed in depth in, you know, scientific journals and, you know, any journals of psychology or psychiatry, because there is a series of things that people that abuse do to their victims. Okay. And, and it's a series of really highly manipulative and dark and destructive and, um, debilitating things that is like mind control. It's like the Jedi mind warp. You know, you, you are basically glamored and subtly over time, made to feel like a victim and like you cannot get out of a situation and the abuse can be certainly physical but it can also be mental and emotional and can manifest in so many negative ways and what these people do is they will have these episodes of really severely abusive behavior so much so that the person that they're abusing doesn't even it's hard to even process how bad it can get. And then as soon as the victim says, what the fuck, I'm not doing this. The abuser changes and becomes the best person that, that the victim ever could imagine and ever would want. And they promise and they promise and they promise never ever to have that type of behavior again. But the reality is that's part of the cycle of control and manipulation and torment and psycho bullshit that these people, these people with demons do to their victims. 
And it's very, very difficult to get out of that cycle of abuse, abuse without help. It is so high level manipulation. It's, it's very, very scary. And in my opinion, it can only be carried out by some sort of dark force that is so adept at this type of stuff that it's not even really understandable in a human consciousness. And it's why people like me get so taken advantage of and abused by these people because we can't comprehend how somebody could be so freaking dark and evil. It just doesn't compute. We don't see the world like that. And so we become ripe targets for these dark forces. I think that are permeating our, our dimension now with the sole purpose of taking down the light. Okay, so it's a very difficult situation to be in and a difficult situation to get out of. I mean, it really sometimes requires serious help, right? Because it's so easy to fall prey because they know how to control you. They know your buttons. They know how to draw you back in and glamor you back in with the promise of everything you ever wanted in a relationship or a situation. And so, I myself have fallen. And coincidentally, even though there are no coincidences, you know, I beat myself up like, like, you know, you feel disgusting because you felt prey again. But thank God I woke, woke goddess, all that is, I opened my eyes immediately and realized I was going down that dark tunnel again. Okay, and I pull myself out in the nick of time. Thank God. Yes. Okay, so not coincidentally, today I read in the news, which has been buried apparently since April, that the Department of Justice, and I'm going to read it from the paper because I just can't even believe it. The Department of Justice has basically, that, and that is our president's Department of Justice, has basically on the DL changed the definition of domestic violence from what it was in the Obama era, which took years and decades to get to this definition based on all sorts of research about how these people manipulate and take advantage and control and abuse. And it used to say this, anything domestic violence is a pattern of abusive behavior in any relationship that is used by one partner to gain or maintain power and control over another intimate partner. Domestic violence can be physical, sexual, emotional, economic, psychological, or threats of actions that influence another person. This includes any behaviors that, are, that intimidate, manipulate, humiliate, isolate, frighten, terrorize, coerce, threaten, blame, hurt, injure, or wound somebody, okay? And all of those things are part of this cycle of abuse that these abusive, demon-possessed creatures elicit on their victims, okay? All of those things. And it's absolutely like being slowly killed over time. It just drains your life force out. Like you're being bled out and you feel powerless to get out of it. And you feel desperate and pathetic because somehow you end up back there. That's the power they have. They're like some sort of highly trained society of demons that come to do this to women and, and people that are not able to help themselves. You know? Okay, so the Department of Justice changed the definition of domestic violence to be something completely different. Okay, something completely different. This is giving these horrible demon-possessed creatures a much greater license over their victims. Because the new definition states this. The term domestic violence includes felony, 
or misdemeanor crimes of violence committed by a current or former spouse or intimate partner of the victim, by a person with whom the victim shares a child in common, by a person who is cohabitating with or has co cohabitated with the victim as a spouse or intimate partner, and by a person similarly situated to a spouse of the victim under the domestic or family violence laws. Okay, so basically what that did, as that changed the definition of domestic violence from all of the stuff that is part of this ongoing, horribly manipulating and violent energetically series of things that these people do to their victims to something very narrow, which is basically, basically it just makes it a physical assault and it has to be, that's illegal, you know? So they limited it to criminal physical assault which that, that ignores all of the emotional and psychodrama crazy ass stuff that these people do. Okay. So this is huge because that means if you are a victim of domestic violence in whatever form that we all know it takes, then you may no longer be able to receive the help that you need because you don't fall under this very narrow and limited definition, new definition from our Department of Justice. This is another attack on those people in general that the powers that be want to take down. Okay? This is the underprivileged this is the weaker of the sex in terms of physical this is the you know it gets bigger even than this i feel like that and who knows what people are going to think about this but i feel like that the powers that be want to take down any potential group of people or sector of society that could potentially do them any harm you know and women who are the creators and who are the empaths primarily and who really are the emotional caretakers of this world and this dimension are being completely taken back to an age of subservience and almost slavery. This is a, such a horrifying thing that's happened for women and it's been hidden and that's what's even more horrifying about it because it was slid in somewhere and no one even saw it happening. But this is who these people are, okay? So if you're a victim, and there are a lot of us out there, we need to band together, we need to call our senators and our Congress people, and we need to voice our objections loudly. And we need to cite psychological and psychiatric papers and studies that show that this is a, a, a whole series of things that these people do that's not just physical. And we need to be there and support each other in this really dark time, you know, and don't be afraid, you know, so many spiritual people are running for the hills, it seems. And, you know, you have to stand strong against the dark. Okay. And me saying this is giving myself strength to stand up against the darkness that I'm facing in terms of a relationship and all that psychodrama that is used against me to get me to not see clearly, you know, and fall prey and fall victim again, which, oh, hell no, I'm not. Okay? So if anybody out there that's a victim of abuse, any type of abuse from you know, a domestic violence situation or spousal or whatever, boyfriend situation, girlfriend situation, whoever, whatever it is, reach out and maybe we can, you know, help each other. I'm sorry I've gone on long, 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 but this was just so unbelievable to me and upsetting. And it is the dark trying to keep women down and certainly minorities down and anybody that could stand up against this darkness. So, um... Blessings to all of you out there. Blessings especially to the people that are suffering and that feel like there's no place to turn. Turn. Turn here. And maybe I can help. Okay, so...
please subscribe. I really would like to be of help and I would really like to be able to communicate and connect with people that are in need of service and maybe I can offer my services. Okay. So please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and... <gasps>